So, Ali, tell us a little bit about how this will work. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, it works pretty much like uh, you know any other food delivery. You open an app, you order your food, you get a notification that a robot is on its way, and when when you when the robot arrives, you go outside and uh, grab your food. So, how many of these robots are actually in operation, and how many successful deliveries have been completed? We have a few dozen of these in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, we've actually been serving a few thousand households since COVID began. We were there even before COVID for a couple of years, but uh, during COVID, we tried to ramp up. So obviously, you want to scale this up even further. What are the biggest technical challenges? I mean, you know, it's a hardware. You have to build uh, robots. You have to make sure that they are reliable and, you know, manage a fleet. Uh, from a technology point of view, the autonomy side is actually quite easier because if you think about it, it takes about 3,000 robots to create the same kinetic energy that a single car uh, makes when it's driving at 35 miles an hour. So this is a simpler problem to solve from an autonomy point of view. Uh, but we are kind of facing challenges that I think car companies, self-driving car companies are going to face later on, which is how to manage a fleet, how to make sure that these things integrate well with society, that sort of thing. So then let's talk about the business challenges. Obviously, there are many, though, it, it, you know, it certainly sounds great. It looks great if you can pull it off at scale. But what are the business challenges of scaling this up? You know, one of the nice things is um, there is just so much demand for this. We have, uh, you know, we've been doing deliveries for Postmates and now part of Uber. There is more demand than we can meet for the foreseeable future. So this is kind of one of those places where all we have to do is really focus on the technology because we have this partnership. Now, with this partnership, will that be enough to get to the goal of delivering 5% of all food delivery orders in the United States in five years? Yes, yes. Of course, we are also talking to other partners uh, right now. That, that's the reason we've gone off, so that we can um, expand our reach. But, uh, but Uber, you know, does more than 30 percent of the market, so that, that could be enough for us to reach that. Well, and Uber is obviously you know, a big investor now in Serve. Are you talking to DoorDash? Uh, are you talking to Grub? I can't really disclose that. <laughs> So talk to us then about what needs to happen and with whom when it comes to evolving the delivery process. You know, I think delivery has always been multimodal, um, and we are focusing on kind of the sidewalk uh, side of the equation. Before uh, robots, uh, this was about 10 percent of the space. We want to expand that to about 50 percent, which is actually the number of deliveries that are within a walking distance in the country. That's more than 50 million deliveries a day. So that's kind of our focus. Uh, there are going to be other folks, uh, whether it's self-driving cars, drones. Uh, this multimodality is going to continue, just like it's existed before. You have things moving in trucks. You have things moving on scooters. Uh, and you're just going to be one of the kind of key ingredients of this, uh, this equation. How has the city of L.A. responded? How have they been to work with? Oh, it's been great, actually. We've, we've partnered with them. Uh, every city we've actually uh, put robots on, we've, we've partnered with them first and, and gone through a process to make sure that, uh, you know, we are, we are partnering with local uh, municipalities. Um, and uh, people absolutely love this. They, if you go on social media, you can find a lot of posts of people's kind of first reaction to a robot, and it's really fun to watch.